at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just no good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I try to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, eh? Grow up. And let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns. You're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know you are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. OK. <laughs> And what are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Ah, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses, love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Idiot. Hey, all the horses untethered? I think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, he picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so... Shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See? This is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks, and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha, ha, ha. Ah, you're a funny fella, John Marston. From what folks say, you had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar, like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. They're left here, towards Rhodes. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Oh, so I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner's sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> You know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, oh, please. Not this again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. Yeah. So, we block the tracks with the wagon, then jumping. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die. Mr. Marsh, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire. Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I'll do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Here 
Here she comes. I need to get up there. Finish up here and join us on board. Go on! Get on there! Hey! Master! All yours, Captain. Well, go on ahead. Everybody stay calm and sure. wait until you get shot! Go! Everything you got! Money! Valuable! There you go. Let's make this quick, people. Come on. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. What did I do? Please, stop. I ain't got nothing. You want to have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? Honey, oh, oh, hey. Don't hey. do this. Just give it to him, Thomas, please. Okay. Come on. Okay. In the bag, everything you got. Keep it coming. Don't be shy. People like you make me sick. These two seem to think we're playing games. Oh, damn it. Sick is better than dead, lady. I'm losing my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says so this can be over. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Let's make this quick. You boys need me? No. You go ahead and look for the baggage car. Tough guy, huh? Reach out. You sure about Why that? Why waste not down? You show this son of a bitch we ain't playing around here? Quick, come on! Oh, Everything you got. Money. Valuable. We ain't living till this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend then. Don't make me hurt you. Put in now! Oh, son of a bitch. Come on, cough it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. Oh, this is unnecessary. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Okay! None what is it? You all right? Build a baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur. <laughs> Double here. That gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. Some decent stuff. Oh, oh, I'm gonna have a right old lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. Are those tennis rackets in there? Posh bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best, all right. I know, that's what's worrying me. Looking good in here. Hurry up in there, will you? Come on, we should get out of here. These folks are rich, all right. All right, we should probably be going now. We'll take that.
Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two arseholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Austin, Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Man, there's a few more of them torn enough. Man, my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. What are you doing? Look out of the left, you're on the friends. Fun boys, real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Yeah. 
Let's go, girl. Yep. Interesting way of putting it, Seamus. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Oh, please. Partner, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves to this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feller's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus's old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. So what's the story with that emerald ramp? Hey, let's keep it down now. We must be close. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. We can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show where you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. 
Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's do it now. Sure. All right, then. Don't follow me. <laughs> Wait until I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house. My good young man. Fare thee well, fare thee well. <laughs> is your father home, son? Sure is. Get him down. Please, get him down here. Get lost, mister. I was lost for many years. I was lost many years. Now I'm not. And you know what? Oh, <laughs> here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. I was just chatting with Junior here a bit. You selling something, partner? I'm not selling, sir. I'm giving it away. <laughs> I was just telling, uh, uh, your, uh, Junior, what's your name, son? Robert Crawford III, sir. Yep. Oh, a pleasure to meet you. Both of you, sir. My name, my name is... Now, don't tell no one, because in New York, I'm kind of famous. I once performed on Broadway. Now that's not important or relevant. I have been saved! I have been found! Oh, no, I, I have thought in your eyes. You think I'm a nut? You think I'm a nut for Crawford the Third? I'm interested in no religious talk. I'm not a religious man. Protect them and have this, but I got something better. Way better than church. Why should you? But our brain's in here, but our souls is in our back. You, sir, your, your back looks kind of tricky. Now, sir, I can fix that for you. Just 10 or 15 sessions. Whiskey suits me fine, sir. Whiskey, it's whiskey is just causing the problem. Did you ever meet a spot who didn't hobble an old age? But the English and old, sir. the juniper do? Creates movement in the spine. Was your whiskey made with grain as it is to leave the spine brittle? It's your outlet shot. Sir. I ain't made of money, mister. My rates are reasonable. Have a think about it. Rally around this way.
down, Arthur? Yep. Covered my tracks so well, they won't even know I was in there. Good work. Let's grab this stagecoach and get out of here. Get us moving, Arthur. We need to get out of here. Damn it, must have spotted us riding out. Uh, I guess I should have tried leaving the back way. Too late now. Take it easy, Arthur. Yeah. So what were you able to lift from the house? Found some money stashed away. Must be a few hundred, not too bad. Not bad at all. Hey, slow it down. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. It wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. Slow down, you, you'll burn out the horses. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Whoa! Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine, nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here, quickly. Nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Sure.
Kennedy, lies. Who makes this crap up? Why are we having a war with the goddamn Philippines? Who cares about the Philippines? What even are the Philippines? Just the biggest load of nonsense yet. Kill. Yeah, it's enough to turn a good, honest fella to drink. Being a bad, dishonest fella, it's going. How you doing? You know, Arthur, I'm it's the illness of romantics. Well, what is? Hope. Hope is. Morning, Arthur. Some money and get you some new ones. Good morning, Arthur. Thank you. 